Hello everybody, it's Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. So, I just wanted to make a quick video about my breakfast today. I am downtown Paris, California on 4th Street. A nice little quaint part of the town. Some older buildings, some older businesses. Uh, you can see it's pretty cool. It says the world's biggest barber shop. Never been in there, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, just a nice little spot maybe to walk around, check things out, see the little thrift shops. But this is where I'm going. I'm going to this place, Taqueria Dos Portillos. I don't know if I said that correctly, but hey, don't kill me because of my Spanish ain't all that great. So I'm out here in the city of Paris right off of 4th Street and D Street. I actually got to get an oil change today. You know, I'm hustling, I'm bustling. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock, 10.30, I'm starving. Said it's gonna take about an hour. That should be enough time to eat. I think I can do it in an hour. Um, had this place before in Merino Valley, not bad. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here and see about this place. Uh, so let's go inside, let's have some breakfast. Uh, I think it's just tacos, burritos, tortas. I don't know if they have any breakfast food, but whatever they have, it's going in. It's going down. Mr. Beast is hungry. He woke up already. He said, come on, let's get me some food. So let's go inside. Let's check it out. So one thing that I really like about this place is all the different fresh drinks that you can have. If you can see here, you just got them all lined up. Any flavor, I'm sure you're going to find one that you really, really like. Next door to that, we have the fresh guacamole. I didn't know they had all these desserts. Like, they looked so good. Um, I wish I had a time. I would have tried one of those as well. I mean, they looked really, really delicious. In the darkest night, I saw your eyes. A sense of threat that I can't forget. Just ordered my food, came really quick. I actually got a three taco plate with rice and beans. I'm just going for it today. Woo! I'm gonna have a good breakfast. I have, I have two pastor tacos or adobada, the one that they shave uh, off the little spinner. That's always delicious. And then I have one carne asada taco uh, with rice and beans. They do give you plenty of onion and cilantro. They give you limes. But I decided to go with a side of guacamole and chips. I gotta say guys, guacamole is pretty big. Um, it's four bucks. Um, little 
pricey, but it's all good. It's fresh guacamole. Uh, but the chips they give you really, really small. So I'm hoping that there'll be enough chips in here for this. And of course, I don't like my tacos plain. So after I dress it with the onion, cilantro, and the lime, I'm gonna put some of this guacamole on there too. There it is. There's breakfast, beans, rice, sliced right off. This is pastor adobada. They have the steak meat on here. There's the steak. All right guys, so I'm ready to go to town on this food. So I'm gonna put all my fixings on the tacos. You wanna take a guess how old Food Traveler in the IE is? Take a guess, send me a comment down below. Probably guys will never guess. Don't you dare say 60. Don't you do that. Don't say 60, no, no. Cause then I'll be pretty sad. Um, so I put the onion and cilantro on all the tacos. I now have the lime. Put the lime on the coconut. Some salsa first. Oh my goodness. Well guys, I, I, you know what? The chips look horrible. They look no flavor, no taste on these. I, very disappointed. They barely give you any chips at all. Um, hopefully the guacamole tastes good. So let's take a bite of the guacamole. Guacamole's good. So everything's all dressed up now. Let me taste the beans. I put some of that green sauce on there. Um, definitely doesn't look like it has any pepper on here or anything. So let's take a bite of that. Honestly, a little watery, no flavor, no salt. Nah, I don't really care for that at all. Let's try the let's try the rice. Rice is good. I like the rice. Let's try the tacos. Tacos. It's taco Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know what the hell day it is. Well, let's take a bite. This taco sucks. This taco is horrible. The meat's chewy. There's no flavor to it. It doesn't even taste like pastor. Like what's, what happened to this place? The beans are bland, the rice is decent, the chips are nothing to send home to mama about. They don't give you very much, it's $4. The taco is horrible. I, I, let's try it again. No, no, they ought to be ashamed of themselves, no. I was so looking forward to this breakfast too. So the three taco plate isn't bad. It's basically 10 bucks, three tacos, rice, beans. Side of guacamole, we're at $15. That bus store taco was not good at all. Not happy with that, very disappointed. The bus store is overcooked. There's no juice. There's no flavor to it. Let's see if they redeem themselves. Let's try the, the carne asada. This is the carne asada taco. Carne asada. Carne asada. Yeah, there's a lot of flies. Carne asada. They want my taco. Let's get the taco. Carne asada. Carne asada taco. Better than the bus store. Is it a delicious carne asada taco? No. It's edible. It's not bad. 
I'll tell you this, guys. Most people knock street food, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Street food is the best. When it comes to tacos, street food is the best. It's freshly prepared. It's cooked right in front of you. Everything's hot right off the grill. I could have had four tacos with street food. Would have tasted way better, way better. Would have been about eight bucks. Beans and rice, probably 10. Um, just way better. I, I I don't know. This place is not was I. This place is not what I was expecting it to be. Food traveler in the IE review on a scale of one to ten. You guys already know. Beans aren't good. They're bland. There's no seasoning to them. There's no pepper. The chips. If you can see the color of these chips, they're just they're not even enticing. They don't even look good. Um, the rice is good, or decent. The rice is decent. The guacamole is decent. The tacos, no. Portillos, dos partillos, portillos, party. Poopy do. We'll call it poopy do. Scale of one to ten. Sorry guys, I gotta give this place a four. That's right, a four. Not a place I would want to go to again for the price, the value, the flavor, the food, it's not worth it. Not too happy with this place. Unfortunately, I don't like putting out negative videos. Um, it is a beautiful place. It's nice outside. They got plenty of seating. It's relaxing. It's a really nice place just to enjoy. But as far as the food, guys, like, I'm just not happy with this at all. At all. So that's my review. Um, hopefully I can find something better to eat today because this sucked. Don't forget to click on that like button. Hit the bell notification if you want to see more videos. You can be notified so you know when I'm putting out another video, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Food Traveler in the IE. Hope you're having a great week. We will see you on the next video.